Before, um, I want to switch gears because I realized this one thing that we saw on your page uh -oh. um, that Shah sent, which was the combination of Trump and Ice Cube. Right. And what what are your thoughts on Ice Cube writing the contract with Black America and Trump's team responding? What are, what are your thoughts on that? Um, it's, it's pretty layered. I'll say that. And I'll start by saying um, I, I'm I'm down with Ice Cube. I know where his heart was when it came to, uh, you know, putting this together. I know it is for the advancement of the black people here in America. And I appreciate all of the efforts that anybody does to make our lives as black folks better than it is until it at least gets the equal to where it's supposed to be. I appreciate mm -hmm. everybody doing that. Um, and, and first as for that post, uh, as I put on the post, it was just in the name of comedy that I put the post up there. It's not that I was disrespecting cube, uh, or anything like that. I thought that it was a hilarious picture and I stand by that fucking hilarious. I don't care what you say, gather your own opinions upon that. But the problem that I have with what cube did is, is he was, to me, his call to action promotes people not to go vote. It promoted, you know, it says, mm -hmm. we'll hold your vote. If you look at the tagline of what his whole movement is about is, you know, make them earn our vote, withhold your black vote. And I did not want the people who will not read deeper than the headlines and just be the surface, you know, ingester of all of this information. I didn't want that person to say, you know what, forget it, then I'm not going to vote. I don't care which way you vote. Hopefully you vote to get the dude that we got in right now out because he doesn't work out for, I think, the country socially. Uh, I don't I think he's he's stirring up way too much stuff right now. It's no bueno. So I, I believe that I would like for him not to encourage people not to vote while we're just a few days away from the election. All of the stuff that's in your plan, let's fight for it. But give everybody an opportunity to do it. Go ahead and let the people vote. And let's continue to fight for all of those things that you want in that country. Well, all people will see that Trump was the one who actually took the call and actually, you know. But that's like, that's that's not the case. So, well, well, no. and, and he said this was Q's words. And he said that, you know, Trump said, well, you know, let's look at it and gave it back some notes. Some people just read that. Oh, like, look, Trump, look, he's looking at it. He got posted notes he handed back. So okay. that's what I'm saying. People will see the position of that, and that could be enough. That maybe Trump will be the person that's going to make things move. Why would I chance Biden saying hold off versus Trump who said, let me let me see it real quick. Right. But that's really not the case. Um, that's where a deeper problem that I have that I'll, you know, I'll stay, I'll, I'll stay, you know, I'll, I'll stay water level with that. But mm -hmm. I'll say that for a, for a full 100% fat um, he did have an opportunity to talk to, um, you know, Vice President Biden and uh, Kamala Harris uh, on a call with a dozen other very prominent uh, black scholars, entertainers and things of that nature where a call was set up that he was invited to and decided not to go. Uh, and okay. and he and that's and, and that is not something that I I'm not. That's not a hearsay. That he is not. Decided that. not to go, or and they were they, they were looking. For, the they were awaiting his arrival into this Zoom virtual meeting that they had okay. with these with select people to have that. That plan that he has was already gone to the Congressional Black Caucus. He's talked to the Congressional Black Caucus, and they have that included in a 125 page report that was presented to the Trump administration two years ago and all of that stuff was already in it. So I, I mean, I, I understand a, a little bit more because I produce a TV show for a political guy. So I, I, I'm, I'm way too much information there that, that I okay. understand, but all in all, I, I fucks with Q. I appreciate everything that he's doing to fight for the folks. 